Hello everyone, this is Shilpa from Basic Science and Humanities Mathematics Department and we are from BVRIT Nasapur College. So today here I am discuss, I am going to discuss about partial differentiation which is an important topic for the differentiation. Okay, so we all are, we all are aware of the differentiation. So usually differentiation means derivatives. So we have two types of derivatives, partial differentiation and total differentiation. So today I am going to discuss about the partial differentiation. So coming to the partial differentiation, why is it important? So when we talk about whether forecasting or economics or any other physics or any other physics related such type of heat transfer, all those things in that picture we can use our partial differentiation. So why are we going to use partial differentiation? So partial differentiation is mainly used to find a differentiation when, when we have more than one variable. So here if I have a function f of x comma y which is a multivariable function. So here I have two functions x and phi. So if I if I am going to differentiate this function, so with respect to x, then this is called as the partial differentiation. So here the symbol do do represents partially do means it represents partially. So do f of x comma y with respect to x that means here we are differentiating with respect to x treating y as constant. Next if I have do f by with respect to y then here we differentiate y with respect to x so differentiate f 1 2 3 differentiate f with respect to y treat x as constant so in both the here we are differentiating with respect to x treating y as constant. So here we differentiate with respect to y treat x as constant. So that means when I have a function in terms of x and y. So dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y. These are called as the first order partial derivatives first order partial derivatives so we have many real life examples of this partial derivatives they are used in physics engineering and even medicine also so for a small example if i have an object this object if I want to find the object speed so with respect to speed with respect to time and distance so here I have more than one variable so if I am going to find time keeping distance as constant and find distance keeping time as constant so in such cases also we can use our partial differentiation. So coming to the small example, I have will solve a problem. So let f of x comma y is equal to 3x power 4 plus 2x cube y power 5 plus 4 into y power 7. So here we are going to differentiate this. So I have the function in terms of x and y. So first 
I am going to differentiate this one with respect to x. So, what I am doing here? I am differentiating the function f with respect to x. So, dou by dou x of 3x power 4 plus 2x cube y power 5 plus 4y power 7. So, this is equal to uh, I am treating, I am differentiating with respect to x. So, my y will be constant. So, here we have, we will have some formulas here. So, the generalized the formulas what we are going to here, use here is as we have x power something. So, we have the formula derivative of d by dx of x power n. So, derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. This is one of the formula we are going to use and derivative of a constant. So, you know that it is 0. So, here what do we have? 3x power 4 plus 2x cube y power 5 plus 4y power 7. We are differentiating with respect to x. So, as we are differentiating with respect to x, we treat y as constant. So, dou f by dou x is equal to. So, what do we have? We'll, we will split this terms to three terms dou by dou x of 3x power 4 plus dou by dou x of 2x cube y power 5 plus dou by dou x of 4y power 7. So, now what are doing here? We are differentiating. So, 3 into dou by dou x of x power 4 plus. Uh, so, we are differentiating with respect to x. So, our 2 is constant and y power 5 is also constant. So, we will bring that one to outside 2 into y power 5 dou by dou x of x cube plus uh, as we have seen here derivative of a constant is what 0. So, here as y is a constant here this one will become 0. So, this is equal to 3 into mm, d by dx of x power n is what n into x power n minus 1. So, 4 into x power 4 minus 1 plus 2 into y power 5 into 3 into x power 3 minus 1. So, the answer will be 3 into 4 x power 4 minus 1 is x power 3 plus 2 into y power 5 into 3 x square. So, we will get it as mm, 3 into 4 12 x cube plus 6 x square y power 5. Now, the same thing we will differentiate with respect to y. So, dou f of x comma y with respect to y is equal to dou by dou y of 3x power 4 plus 2x cube y power 5 plus 4 into y power 7. So, this is equal to, mm. so we are differentiating with respect to y. So, all other elements that is all other variables will be constants. So, here x will be a constant here. Treat x as constant as we are differentiating with respect to y. So, this is equal to dou by dou y of 3x power 4 plus dou by dou y of 2x cube y power 5 plus dou by dou y of 4 y power 7. So, this is equal to, mm. so we are differentiating with respect to y. So, our x will be a constant. So, this will become 0. 0 plus with respect to y. So, we will bring x cube outside 2 and x cube. So, 2 x cube dou by dou y of y power 5 plus 4 into dou by dou y of y power 7. So, that is equal to
टू एक्स क्यूब टू एक्स क्यूब इंटू फाइव इंटू वाई पावर फाइव माइनस वन प्लस फोर इंटू सेवन इंटू वाई पावर सेवन माइनस वन दिस इज इक्वल टू टेन एक्स क्यूब वाई पावर फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी एट वाई पावर सिक्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिफ्रेंशिएट in the case of partial differentiation that is with respect to x and with respect to y so here the do f by do x is equal to 12 x cube plus 6 x square y power 5 and do f by do y equal to 10 x cube y power 4 plus 28 y power 6 so this is our the first order partial derivatives so now we'll go with the second order partial derivatives so second order partial derivatives are nothing but the do square f by डो एक्स स्क्वायर डो स्क्वायर एफ बाय डो एक्स डो वाई डो स्क्वायर एफ बाय डो वाई स्क्वायर सो ना वील डू वन थिंग वी विल डिफ्रेंशिएट डो एक्स डो स्क्वायर एफ बाय डो एक्स स्क्वायर सो हाउ टू डिफरेंट हाउ वॉट इज दिस फॉर्मूला सो दिस इज नथिंग बट डो बाय डो एक्स ऑफ डो एफ बाय डो एक्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू डो बाय डो एक्स ऑफ Twelve x cube plus six x square y power five. So this is equal to. So this is equal to. Here we again we are differentiating with respect to x. So what we have done? We are, what we are doing here? We are doing dou square f by dou x square. That is dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. Already we have calculated dou f by dou x. That is dou by dou x of twelve x cube plus six x square. y power 5 so this is equal to 12 into 3 into x power 3 minus 1 plus we are differentiating with respect to x so y will be constant so 6 y power 5 into 2 into x power 2 minus 1 so this is equal to 36 x square plus 12 x y power 5 so this is how we are going to calculate the second order partial derivative do square f by do x square now we will see do square f by do x do y so here we have in the denominator we are differentiating with respect to do x and do y so this one will be do by do x of do f by do y and second order partial derivative another one do square f by do y do x is equal to do by do y of do f by do x so we are going with this so do square f by do x do y is equal to do by do x of mm. so already we have calculated do f by do y so what is our do f by do y 10x cube y power 4 plus 28y power 6. 10x cube y power 4 plus 28y power 6. So this is equal to. We are differentiating with respect to x, so our y will be constant here. So 10y power 4 into 3 into x power 3 minus 1. 
So, as this is a term which is only containing y, it will become 0. So, this is equal to 30 x square y power 4. So, now we will do the same thing dou square f by dou y dou x. This is equal to dou by dou y of dou f by dou x. So, point to remember is both are different. It depends upon the given function. 12x cube plus 6x square y5 is equal to dou by dou y of 12x cube plus 6x square y power 5. So, here we are differentiating with respect to x square. Sorry, we are differentiating with respect to y. So, our x will be a constant. So, the first term will become 0 plus second term we have y. So, 6x square is a constant. We will bring it outside. Now, differentiating y power 5 that is 5 into y power y 5 minus 1. This is equal to 30 x square y power 4. So, if we observe here dou square f by dou x dou y and dou square f by dou y dou x both are equal. So, it depends upon the given function also. So, now next second order partial derivative that is dou square f by dou y square which is equal to dou by dou y of dou f by dou y that is equal to dou by dou y of so our dou f by dou y is what 10 x cube y power 4 plus 10 x cube y power 4 plus 28 y power 6. So here we are differentiating with respect to y so x will be a constant. So the first term it has an x so 10 x cube so we have y power 4 so it will become 4 into y power 4 minus 1 28 6 into y power 6 minus 1 so 40 x cube y power 3 168 y power 5. So, this is how we are going to evaluate our second order partial derivatives. So, in this class we have seen how we are going to evaluate the first order partial derivatives and the second order partial derivatives. Thank you everyone. Vishnu Audio Visual Center like and share and subscribe and click bell icon.